Hello everyone, it's Van Amsen again and we are here on day 28th of our 30-day LeetCode uh, JavaScript challenge. Today we are solving challenge number 2695, RI wrapper. We are going to create a JavaScript class that changes the default behavior of certain operations, uh, specifically uh, we are going to make uh, instances of our class uh, adaptable and change how uh, they are converted to a string. So uh, let's jump right to it. So uh, we can look at examples. So for example, example one, uh, add uh, nums uh, one, two, three, four, operation add, uh, output is 10 and explanation is because object uh, new array wrapper of 1, 2 uh, and object new array wrapper of 3, 4 is object 1 plus object 2 so it's 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 it's uh, 10 and the example number uh, 2 is num uh, yeah, 23, 98 42, 70 and operation string and output is a uh, string and yeah, array wrapper will uh, just convert this into a string. So uh, that's our example. And now let's start by filling in the uh, constructor for our array uh, wrapper uh, class. So we are given uh, some starting uh, lit code code so array wrapper function and prototype value of and prototype uh, to string and uh, yeah so first what we will do is to write save the array in the instance this num uh, as nums so we uh, save it and we store the array pass to the constructor in the instances using this uh, num. Next, we will define a value of method for our class. This method is automatically called when JavaScript ta uh, tries to convert an object to a primitive value, which happens when we try to add uh, two objects uh, together. So return the sum of the elements in the array, return this num reduce a b a plus b zero. So in our value uh, of method, we return the sum of uh, the elements in our uh, array. Finally, we will define a two string method. Uh, for our class. This method is automatically called when we try to convert an object to a, a string. Uh, so yeah, it's like in example number two. So return the array as string surrounded by brackets return this nums join class so yeah uh, so we have uh, something like this and in our uh, to string method we return the array as a string surrounded by uh, brackets so let's uh, put it all together into a test so run it and see whether it pass the, yeah. So if we have like add opera operator between those uh, two objects, so it's uh, summit. And if we have uh, to string, then we get string out of our array. And case number three, it's just, yeah, zero. So uh, also as expected. And yeah, so now let's try to 
check it for unseen test cases and hopefully it will pass. Yeah, so it passed and beats uh, 64 by runtime and 19%, almost 20% by memory. And that's it. We have created a JavaScript class that changes the default behavior of addition and string conversion for its instance. This is a great uh, exercise in understanding how JavaScript allow us to customize uh, object behavior. As always, remember to like this video and subscribe to uh, the channel for more coding tutorials. Stay tuned for day number 29 uh, of uh, our 30 day lead code challenge. Uh, keep coding and see you next time.